Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. In the last episode, we went to the professor's house at Chateau Chanterelle, found no trace of him. Then we found a trace of him here in Mondo Woods where everything got turned huge thanks to Kamek's magic. So eventually we found the professor and we took him back to Chateau Chanterelle and he gave us permission to access his dig site in Marmalade Valley. And in this episode, before we head to Marmalade Valley, there's actually one thing you can do here in the Sacred Forest. The forest is still huge. Kevin must be some magician for the effects to reach some way out here. Yeah, unfortunately, even out here, everything is still big. There's also a colorless toad hiding back here. I ran to the shy guy, and at first I was like, fine, whatever, no big deal, just a shy guy. But then he whipped out a bendy straw. I thought he'd leave me alone if I pretended to be a stree. You know, my standard go-to move. But he figured me out somehow. Guess I still can't act my way out of a paper bag. Anyway, later. Yeah, you're a toad, not a pseudo wudo. So yeah. There's a huge colorless spot here. Look at that. Seems like we have another rescue squad leader. Pulling on what appears to be a giant turnip. Which is actually another thing. I'm the leader of the Yellow Rescue Squad. We're here to help you in your adventure. Or we're supposed to be at least. See, so we heard this big turnip was blocking your path to the sacred forest, so we kicked into action. But none of my 11 squad ads have arrived yet. Not sure they got the memo. If you see any of them around, tell them to meet me here. So we gotta find 11 yellow squad members. I believe that number of squad members you have to find keeps increasing. Like first it was three, then it was six, and now you gotta find 11. And there's like two, uh, ooh, Roshan Boat Token. But anyway, there's like two other rescue squads. I believe there's also blue and red squads, but we won't meet them till later. And that paint star leads us just over there. So I, yeah, I forgot there was like a free paint star just in that area. And also by collecting that paint star, we can access another Rochambeau temple. So yeah, this is where the yellow squad members will go to pull out the turnip. So here we have unlocked the Mustard Cafe. The reason they call it that is because they put mustard on everything. Yeah, you thought putting ketchup on everything was fun? Try putting mustard on everything! Including ice cream! No, I'm kidding. Anyway, let's go ahead and repaint that barrel. Go ahead and head on up. Repaint this rock. There we go. And that pipe's full of sand, so we can't go through it. It appears these sniffets are waiting in line. And the gate's locked. Hmm, this place doesn't seem like it's open. There's so many sniffets in line. I wonder why. Why is the mustard cafe closed? It's live in the bathroom, right? <laughs> Need coffee. This place is so exclusive that even the chef can't get in. <laughs> I just want to meet the chef. He's a legend. Wouldn't be a brunch if you didn't spend two hours waiting outside beforehand. True that. Man, this place got way too popular. I used to hear it here before it was cool. Don't you mean before it was hot? Because we're in a hot desert. Anyway, it seems like you can't just jump off a cliff, even though that'd be the quickest way to get down instead of taking this pipe. And if you look over here, you can see, holy, a giant white colorless spot. Another one of those massive blank spots. Gross. There's a couple of toads hanging out in the middle. Yes, it is. So which color orb do we need to repaint this spot? According to what I'm painting, looks like we need the purple color orb. No way, dude. You are never going to paint this whole thing. Trust me, I'm a paint can. <laughs> but you can repaint this one colorless spot over here. And anyway, now let's go see those two toads in the middle.
One of them being a Yellow Squad member. Fanning the chef. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You don't have to, like, rescue anyone right now, do you? Because I don't want this to stop. Ever. No, sir. My top priority at the moment is rescuing you from the summer heat. Although, you did only pay for three hours. And time is just... about... up. Sorry, sir. You'll have to make another reservation. Have a nice day. Toad number five of the Yellow Squad. Must report to forest, the Sacred Forest immediately. What's up, Mario? Look, I appreciate you coming all the way down here. I don't have a table for you, okay? If you don't mind sitting in the bar, I can maybe squeeze you in in three years. What? What can I say? The Mustard Cafe is on fire right now. We're hotter than the star I stole from the sky, you know? Star from the sky? Mario, you think of what I'm thinking? Um, Chef, is there any way to expedite the reservation process? Perhaps we fanned you for another couple of hours? Nah, man. If I make an exception for Mario, then everyone's gonna want one. What's next? Table for Luigi, party of four? Not in this lifetime, baby. Sorry, Luigi. Ah. Besides, I've got a deep tissue thwomp massage scheduled today. Hmm. I see. Sounds painful. Mario, we're going to have to figure something else out. Maybe something a lot later. Like, maybe after we rescue the purple color orb. Oh, I can't carry anymore. I forgot that my uh, card stuff is full. Luckily, I can go to my cards down here and just delete cards I don't need. Are you sure you want to trash this hop slipper? Yes. So I can collect this new card. Worn out jump times five. Yeah, we can do five weak jumps. So yeah, unfortunately we can't paint this giant white circle. So we're gonna have to come back to this place a lot later. Like once we rescue the purple color orb. Yeah, it's even showing you purple white circle here. So for now, let's go ahead and head back. So now we are going to head to what we really want to do. Head through Marmalade Valley. We must head through the professor's dig site in order to get to the place where the next color orb lies. Because the next one we're going to rescue is the yellow one. Oh cool, there's a train here. Oh hello Mario. I don't suppose you've heard the news. The beloved engine here is scheduled to be decommissioned. Aww. I'm sad she's being put to pasture. We all get old eventually, don't we? True death. Death is coming for us all. Everyone's game ends eventually. Anyway, I'm gonna repaint this part of the track. Because this is another color to spot. It's a piece of rail. And I've got like a full slot now. You can also hammer these loose rocks to get some more paint that way. You need to get some of your recolored paint. Because you're going to need quite a bit of orange paint, since this is technically the orange area. Hello, Mario. Take a look at this, would you? I believe we made an important discovery. Now we have to be super careful when we excavate it, just like the professor said. Gotta head down here. Oh. Oh, dang it, that was a color spot. Yeah, I can't carry that anyway. Alright, we paint this color spot on the second floor of this elevator. And we head across this bridge to talk to this toad. I'm sorry, but do you have a permit to access the area? So you've discovered an extremely rare fossil, and we must take special care to preserve it. Can't have just anyone stomping around all over the place. If you really need to get in here, you'll need to speak to the professor. Good day. Ah, we have a permit. See? Check it out. Good day to you, sir. Oh, you got a permit. Come on in. Just don't touch anything. Or even look at anything too hard. But above all, have fun. <laughs> That's basically a museum for you. Yes, now we can see what all the fuss is about. Alright. Oh, Supposed to be supposed to be looking for paint stars. 
How about this? You keep looking for pay stars, and I'll just do a tiny amount of fossil hunting. Deal? No! Access the dig site, please use the scaffolding. And watch for your step. We had a number of small earthquakes recently. Earthquakes? Well, that's not good. A bunch of seismic waves. Anyway, repaint the scaffolding here, because this is another colored spot. Look at these boxes. Just like breaking boxes in Gmod. Fossils in this area are extremely delicate, so we're digging very slowly. It's actually kind of funny what happens if you just hit it. Hey, buddy! Are you trying to cause a rock slide? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take this... Oh, gotta wait for it to come back down. Take this elevator up. Now we can enter through here. Hello, Mario. Here to check out our find? Well, if you'd like a closer look, you can encounter through that hole and go up the scaffolding. Please be careful in there. Ooh. Was that one of those earthquakes? Whoa, did you feel that? I feel something. Something's shaking. Oh, something's really shaking. It's getting louder. What's going on? What's causing these earthquakes? Well, we're about to find out soon enough. But now we got a new enemy, Dry Bones. Normally when you jump on them, you temporarily defeat them, but they'll come back to life considering they're already dead. But if you do that, you can defeat them instantly. And they won't come back. And they also, oh, I need to get rid of the card in order to get that new enemy card. Uh, I guess I can re get rid of another hop slipper. I haven't been running in, in that many stacked enemies yet. Usually the hop slippers come in handy with the stacked enemies. Anyway, got a dry bones card. Oh, come on! I thought I hit you. Gotcha. And another dry bones card. <laughs> yeah, what the dry bones do is I think they just throw bones at enemies. There we go. You got to repaint it the entire way around. And just so I have a chance to show off these Dry Bones cards, I'm going to get rid of another Hop Slipper. Because I really like having the enemy cards, they're kind of cool, considering you don't get them that very often. Okay, let's go ahead and get those. <laughs> so I wonder if they're just digging up a giant Dry Bones. Oh man, that earthquake, we broke the scaffolding! Won't someone think of the scaffolding? It means this scaffolding that just happened here. And there's another dry bones. Die. Dang, they're dropping a, a bunch of cards now. For the enemies, I mean. Anyway, gotta jump through here to get, like, behind here. Ooh, that's a flower. Another flower. And a spin jump. Unfortunately, I can't carry any of those. I'm carrying too much. Break open this rock. And then defeat this Dry Bones. Hey, every single one of them dropped a Dry Bones card. Mm -hmm. And this one we have... Ooh, a new one. That means I gotta get rid of another Hop Slipper. <laughs> so yes, we have a new one. A POW Block. So what this will do is it will hit all enemies that are in the air and have a chance to crumple them. When they're crumpled, they can't move. So it crumples is kind of like a status effect. Mario, we need your help. This place is a disaster zone after that big earthquake. And there's two hop slippers. Dang, I'm getting rid of quite a few cards now. Uh, I can get rid of a hammer. Yeah, hop slipper times two. At least it gives you some extra health. You head up here, there's another block that has another new card. Jeez, I'm not having enough room for these. Uh, okay. Did you move a shoe? Can we get a hurl hammer? 
So with the hurl hammer, it lets you like throw the hammer at enemies that are in the air and at other enemies too. Somebody help! The vibrations triggered a cave-in and one of our excavators is trapped! That one up there. Isn't this the rescue squad's job? Or are those guys? Uh, I guess we'll have to do it ourselves, Mario. Hey, don't scare me like that. I thought it was another rock slide. <laughs> they're all like panicking because that's what toads do. And we can't pick, get past that crate because it's colorless on the other side, so we gotta go through this way. There's a few more colorless spots. So, yeah, we gotta go rescue that excavator that's just got trapped. Oh, we have another new enemy a bone Goomba. Or just a dark looking Goomba. And more dry bones. Gotcha. <laughs> We're paying the color spots. There we go, get rid of that. There's another color spot here. Also, I believe in this spot there's gonna be a treasure trove of coins, but there will also be a bone gobble ready to ambush you. Oh, we have another new enemy as well. Scaredy rats. So yes, we have skeleton goombas and rats. Squeak! <laughs> okay, we have to use a fire flower for the first one. And then we'll use... Let me see. Uh, I can use a pearl hammer. Squeak, squeak! <laughs> the rats. Let's use firepower! Well, that gets rid of the scary rats. That knocks you away. Defeats you. Ow! Ten damage. One more KO hammer to do the trick. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the perfect bonus. There we go. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, we can get some more coins now. So anyway, now that that bone was taken care of and got that treasure trove of coins, we're going to head up on this lift over here. There's a color spot. Hop up here, and there's also a couple of spot down here you need to repaint. A KO hammer, nice. Uh, I didn't get time for lunch earlier, so I'm sneaking a quick snack. <laughs> Don't tell my boss. <laughs> and he gives you a one-up mushroom. Nice. Thank you, Lunch Toad. Got another hammer right before it disappeared. Let's take the lift across again. Like that. Like that. Oh yeah, you can also hit this rock too. Get some more orange paint. Are you on your way to help the toad who got caved in? Good luck. And you are going to want to save here because there is an event that's going to happen just a little bit later that you will need to save before you do. Because if you don't do the event right, well, it's not going to end but well for you. I'm just going to say that much. Ah, dang it. Can't go anymore. Oh, well. Seems more earthquakes are happening. Hey, Mario. Hold on a second. This whole dig site seems a bit seismologically unstable, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I just felt a little vibration in the air. So, uh, this seems as good an opportunity as any to say something important. I just want you to know that you should some that should something catastrophic happen, I will protect you. It looks like it's about to. I would literally throw my body in the Every man for himself! <laughs> of course Yui abandons you at first thought. And Princess is after you now. So yeah, that was Princess. That giant chain chomp with the bow. 
Oh, hey, I found a safe spot over here for you. I was just keeping it warm. Yeah, right. I'll throw my body in the way for you. No, you won't. Coward. Anyway, what was that thing? It's probably been causing all the problems around here. Let's head back to the main side before it comes back. More cards that I can't carry. Anyway, we paint this colorless spot. Then we repaint this box so that we, just, we can just break it. We paint it just so we can break it. <laughs> How sad. Anyway, if you ride this way up. Wait a minute. Is that a green L? I think it's time. Oh, dang it. I did it too late. Yeah, there was a green L in the top right corner. I think it's time for a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet complete. So yeah, that was the second of Luigi's hiding spots. You also want to save here too. Especially since you just found Luigi. Five worn out hammers. I believe this is also a new card, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these ones. Uh, get rid of an e hammer. Oh, it's not a new card. Oh, well. Thought it was. Also, we found, like, a secret cave. That'll lead us to that rainbow door. That can do the minigame. And I'm going to try to do a different color this time. Oh, dang it. Well, it stopped on yellow, so... I was trying to time it so I could land on red or blue, but of course my timing was off. Thank you, half second <laughs> late duration of the screen with the capture card. Anyway, save me! Oh, thank goodness you're here. There's a toad trapped in there. He's still alive, but he's running dangerously low on snacks. <laughs> Please, I'm hungry. There we go. Whoa, that's bright out here. Huh, Mario? Thanks for rescuing me. I was getting so hungry and bored in there. Five more minutes and I would've been gnawing on this thing. Ooh, a giant bone. Well, I'm not sure how to help us, but let's give that bone a squeeze. You know, for science. So we shall do that. Yes, we have another new thing, a bone. Every dog's favorite snack. Got a bone. Favorite snack of round pets with sharp teeth. High in calcium. Oh, I forgot. I have too many cards. Uh, okay. Get rid of this. There we go. Now we can keep the bone. Unfortunately, that seems to have attracted attention to Princess again. Run! Don't let her crush you. Don't break that. Go down here. Hide in this alcove. The princess goes over you. She completely destroys the scaffolding. And whoa! She actually revealed the fossil! That's a complete Dragadon fossil! Yeah, kind of funny how the postman mentioned Dragadon earlier. We have this now. So this is a Dragadon fossil? I wouldn't run run into this guy in a dark alley. I didn't expect it to be so... Colorless. Kind of looks like it's been drained. What kind of monster was that? It seemed like it was mad at us. Did we steal something from it? Do we owe it money? No, it's just a mindless creature. Can't believe it just blasted through the wall like that. But on the bright side, it did all of our work for us. The fossil is completely exposed. Hey, Mario. Smells like there's a paint star on the other side of that hole. Let's check it out. So yeah, the fact that Huey mentions that it's colorless looks like that monster rolled through here and off into the sunset. Well, it's been real, but let's grab the paint star and get out of here. So yeah, about the fact that if Huey says the, dra the Dragadon fossil is colorless. Well, the thing is, that Dragadon fossil is actually another giant colorless spot, which needs the help of a color warp in order to repaint. So that Dragonon fossil needs the help of the orange color orb. 
my favorite of the color orbs in order to repaint. We also unlock a new area. And the way to the second Rochambeau Temple. So yeah, that's the thing telling you that you need the orange color orb to revive Dragonon. But before we head off, we are going to head back to Chateau Chanterelle. Right before we end this episode off, because there's a reason you need to go back here. So call her back. Go back to her doghouse. And then, you see these two little face, uh, fence posts right here that kind of look like a cutout spot for a card? Well, it's time for a cheat sheet. Oh, princess, come get a tasty bone. Here she comes. <laughs> Rolls right over the professor. Oh. What if they tramples the professor and just rolls away? Oh no! The professor was crushed by this giant thing! Now he's going to be in an even worse mood! Actually, I doubt that. Whatever are you talking about? That was my beloved princess! Mario, thank you for reuniting me with my sweet little girl. I suppose she's outgrown her little house here, but I'm glad she was able to visit one last time. If you come across any more bones, please share with her. She deserves a treat every now and then. Don't all dogs. And let her know that wherever she ends up, I'll be thinking of her. Oh, and I got a little something for you. That's a small thank you for helping me out. Follow me. So yeah, you will actually get a really important item as a reward by doing this. You're gonna go back and talk to the professor again. Ah, yes. Now, where were we? Of course. I was about to give you a small reward. The fellow at the dig site was about to throw this out. But I thought it might be of interest to you. Be careful now. It's as sharp as... Um... Something very, very sharp. Like a double-bladed axe. You have to pardon the analogy. I'm a paleoarchaeologist. Not one of those, um... Good-talking guys. It's okay, Professor. Neither am I. Ah, I've got it. It's as sharp as the spine of the spiny. Yes, that will do. Got a sharp spike. And believe it or not, that actually is an important item. Because that is the key to getting into the next area. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have to save that for the next episode. So, next time on Paper Mario Color Splash, we are going to take this new, very pointy spike to enter our newly unlocked area. The Kiwano Temple. See you guys on the otter side.